to it. Your girl does great, and I'm back on the cam with another video. Make sure y'all follow all uh, my social medias up here because uh, that's where I be when I'm not on YouTube, honestly. Mostly Instagram and Snapchat. No, Instagram and Twitter. But I just want to tell y'all this video is probably going to be short because I literally been laying in bed all day. I don't know why, but I have, and I've been watching TV and YouTube and been scrolling on Instagram and all this extra stuff, but I'ma still try to put a video out. I'm finna order some food, and we are gonna talk about how stressful vlogging really is and how hard YouTube really is and how YouTube don't care about small channels. It's like these big channels are already big, like can you promote other channels please like can you like we have to put in 10 times the work to get promoted and these big youtubers can put out one video a week and do tremendously still get promoted and and still gain subscribers and all this other stuff and it's like us small channels are really getting it this vlog is because we thought this was going to help our channels when it's really not honestly i mean it's not at all, y'all. Like, uh, it's really annoying how I feel like we're working so hard at small channels. And it's like YouTube is ignoring us. Like, we doing vlogmas to push us out too. Like, oh my gosh. We just trying to get ourselves out there, get us some notice of all that hard work off because we put in work into our channel. Like, we buy banners, we get thumbnails made, we edit. We actually edit our own videos. We actually make our own thumbnails. We actually do all this stuff for our channel. Make up our description. Find some tags. We don't have nobody doing that for us. And I feel like this stuff is so stressful that we get looked over, kind of, in a way. Just because we, we don't have as many subscribers. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, like I've said before, or was it on here? I think that was on Snapchat, but on Snapchat, I've said, uh, accomplishing a dream is never going to be easy. You just have to continue to continue to go at it. If that's what you want, forget what everybody else think. Forget what the days you want to give up. Just give up. Give it 100% every day, even if you're at the same stage for months. You're eventually going to see some growth. Never give up on your dreams. Follow your dreams. Life is too short. Like, seriously. It's just too short to give up. But, I'm sorry. Y'all getting this laying in the bed, Desiree. But, my skin is clearing up. I already showed y'all my skin was clean. But, it is really, really clearing up. And, I am so happy because my face really broke out a couple months ago. But, it is clearing up. I just need to stop touching my face. I do this a lot. Stop touching. But, Yes, like, oh my gosh, I love my channel, and I'm actually looking to start a new one in 2021. People keep telling me don't wait 2021, but I'm that's gonna give me a new like new year, new something. So I'm just gonna wait till 2021. So I guess when I order this food, I guess I'm gonna put like a screen recording me ordering it right here. Cause I'm not really sure what I want to order, but I know I'm going to order some food. And we're going to talk about how stressful Vlogmas is, how stressful YouTube is, how stressful college is online. Uh, being a teen parent is not stressful, but it's stressful. Love my daughter to death, but she's a very, 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 very stubborn. Like, super stubborn. If she wasn't so stubborn, she'd be a good little girl. But she is so stubborn. Like, she thinks she know everything. Like, you're too. I'm trying to tell you, that's not how you do that. And she's, that, that's it. In her brain, that's how you do it. And then when it don't work out, she, she not going to say it's not working out. She going to look crazy. She going to, she just going to not want to do it no more. Like, she's so stubborn. But, hey. Maybe I was stubborn as a kid. I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and um, 
order some food because I'm hungry. My daughter already ate. Good. She gonna be hungry, so this food is here. Watch. I'm telling you. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I can hear now. Ain't gonna even be hungry. She just gonna eat on one bite. And that's it. Am I the only person who order food and never order drinks? Because it's like, this is ridiculous. And I just drink water. But hey, you know, I can't, I can't water up in my bed. Anyway, so. Hey, hey, hey. I actually haven't been using my purple bottle lately. I'm making this intro really long. I don't know why, but. Tomorrow vlogmas is actually gonna be me doing something. My daughter actually wants to go to school, but I have been getting up this hacker because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm lazy, but I'm gonna get up this hacker because she actually wants to go. She actually likes it. And at first I was just when when all this corona stuff happened, I was like, okay, this is a good time for me to potty train her, a good time for me for us to start doing more things together and all that stuff. But now it's like stuff is closing again so what is that it's just like she's potty trained we've done a lot we've been to the lake we've been to the aquarium we've been to the uh we went a lot of places i don't know if i vlogged some i vlogged some of them but i didn't vlog i love you but we've been doing stuff we've been shopping but it's not a lot of kid friendly stuff open because they know kids can't stay six feet apart honestly but her school is open and so when she wants to go, I take her and she really likes to go. But I've been hesitant because I don't like to get up early in the morning because her school opens at 6 a.m. And the lady she can get them in is 9, so it's like, uh, uh, uh. So, yeah, but I'm going to start get, getting her up. I'm going to actually probably do a get ready with me for one of these vlogmas to show y'all. And I actually want to go to another Walgreens to show y'all how to do the buy two toys, get two toys free deal, which is a really good deal. So I'm probably wake up and do that. I need to go to Walmart and get her some more underwear. My daughter is growing so fast, y'all. Like in January, my daughter was in 24 months clothes and she was wearing a size four in toddler shoes. Now, within 12 months, my daughter is in a size 10. No, I'm not going to say 10. She's in a size 9 and a half in shoes. So that's what five and a half sizes up. And then she's also in a 4T in shirts, 5T in pants. And it's like, oh my God, y'all. I, I don't know how many, how much clothes and stuff I've been buying all year. And it's just like, make her pocket burnt. Da 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 Make up fucking hurt. But it is what it is. I've been buying shoes and clothes all year for that little girl. But it's okay. And her potty training is so successful. Like she's not using it on herself at all. Like I'm so proud of her because she's only two. Like we started this basically as soon as she turned two because Corona started in March. My baby turned two in January, so it was like from one to two, and then she was probably trying to, and she caught on very fast. By July, she was fully potty trained, I want to say, because we didn't, we didn't start in March. I just like was buying things to start the process. Like I was buying pull-ups, I was buying things for the toilet, I was buying stickers, I was buying prizes for her, you know, to congratulate her for using the toilet things like that and i was just slowly buying it and then i think within a month or two i was through buying everything so it was time to actually put in some work and yeah so she's fully potty trained this so it's amazing and then it's not because she tried to tell me how she's supposed to wipe her booty and i'm telling her that's not it i'm trying to show you i've been wiping my booty for what well, i'm 19 so probably since i was three for 16 years now ma'am i've been wiping my butt for 16 years and you're trying to tell me how you supposed to wipe your butt i had i got this and i still gotta buy i need to buy flushable wipes for her because the tissue she she not under, she not she not understanding one wipe don't don't cut it but it's okay i still want to help her wipe her bootay yeah but we're gonna order some food here she go right here with a shirt but you want to get in the video Okay, turn your phone off, it's loud. 
Oh, it's okay. Pick it up. Oh, I also want to go get my nails done with y'all because it's a nail school near me and it's like they charge cheap if you want to go get your nails done. So I was like, I guess I'll do going to get my nails done at the nail school. I'll do my nails too. Yeah, mama go do your nails too. And my toes. And your toes, okay. Uh, I think I'm going to give up on all this. Mama, play games? But I'm not. Mama, play games? Huh? Play games? Mama don't want to play games. Okay. So I see y'all after I order this food. Okay. I, I have happy meal. Oh no, no more happy meals. Then you just eat grapes and strawberries. That's it. Do you eat grapes and strawberries? That's it. Huh? That's and yogurt? Huh? huh? You did? Was it good? It's Biba. Was it good? It's Biba. <laughs> Was it good? It's, yes. It was good? Yes. Okay. It's boo boo. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Bro, okay. Bye guys. Not me. Okay, okay. You you didn't hit the camera. You gotta hit it right here. Y'all, the food is her. The food is her. I got me some golden cheeks. And I got me some corn. Mm. 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 I love cornflakes. They kind of fried them too hard, but. And I said no ice. Listen to this. Does that sound like no ice? It doesn't. And I know I said I'm gonna order a drink, but it was cheaper to get the combo than just order a six piece nugget, which is only a dollar off. So, I mean, a six piece tender. They, they force you to get the drink, honestly. It's a better value, because you get the sides. Oh yeah, and uh, I want to talk to y'all about vlogmas, which has been so hard. As y'all can tell, some of these were pre-recorded, some of these were recorded that day, some of these were rushed edit. They were rushed edit, not rushed recorded, but rushed edit. I had stuff to do. My class, my classes for college just ended on the eleventh of this month. So after that, it's been, I had more time to edit and stuff and more time to record videos. But it's like, oh, I want to break. Video ideas no longer pop up in my head because it's like they, they, they supposed to be Christmas themed, but it's like supposed to be vlogs too. And a lot of stuff is closed. This is the wrong drink. I ordered raspberry tea. They really messed up my order. They really messed up my order. As for no ice, it's the wrong drink. My tenders look dry. One of my tenders was dry, and I'm really mad about that because, like, but I really been thinking about giving up on vlogging. I really have. I don't know. You know, a lot of big YouTubers tell you this is the time of the month to grow your channel. In reality, small channel. It's not doing nothing for us. We still growing at our normal rate. I mean, growth is growth, but vlogmas ain't easy. Especially now for small channels. I gotta record my own videos. I have nobody walking around recording vlogmas for me. I gotta vlog for myself. I have to make my own thumbnails, edit by myself, tag by myself, description by myself, and still Look through my emails for brand deals or sponsorships and all this extra stuff. Which I've been declining lately because it's just too much. It's just too much. What is that too?